What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be giving you the best Twixter settings in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. So just before we get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13, Photoshop or even After Effects, be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Okay, so... For those that don't know what Twixter is, Twixter, it just slows down your video, it gives you a nice slow motion effect. Now you're probably thinking you can just hold control and go like that. Yes, we can do that, but to be honest, what result does it give us? It gives us a choppy effect, and yeah, Twixter just gives us a really smooth look. Loads of card editors use it, and let's get into it. So, first of all, I've got this clip here, this is actually my own clip, I recorded it myself. Now, one very important thing about your clip, if you right click it and click Properties, you want to make sure it's 59,940 FPS, or that is also known as 60 FPS. Now, I've made a video how to render in 60 frames per second, so if you have a video which is uh, 29,000 frames or 30 FPS, go ahead to that video, it will be linked in the description. You can go ahead and convert your video to 60 FPS. This is what I've had to do with this clip as well. So, once you're here, come and click Disable, for example, and uncheck Maintain Aspect Ratio, and click OK. And now, we want to find out where you want to apply the slow motion. So I'm going to play through this right here. Now I want it to go right there so as he starts to reload. So I'm going to press S on my keyboard to split or of course you can just right click and click split which is right there. And then choose where you want it to stop so right there as he puts the bullet back in for me I'm going to stop it right there. So now I'm going to zoom in, click right here and press S again. So now this part right here, the middle clip, is where we want to apply Twixer. So, if we play it through, this is what it's going to look like so far. Now we want to put this part slow motion. All you need to do is come here to the effects tab, or effects button. Now scroll across to Twixter Pro, which is right here, and click OK. Now this is what you're going to get. It might look a bit confusing for you, but it's really simple. So we're literally going to be using all the default, nearly all of it. Just copy the settings that I've got down here. So Twi uh, the display is on Twixted Output, display layer is on all. Draw geometry is on checked. The time remap is on speed. The speed percentage we're not going to touch for now because that is what we use to control it. The frame is on zero. The track quality is on best. BG motion sensor is anywhere between 90 to 100. So I'll go 92 for this one. The image prep is on none. The catchy ops flow is checked. The frame interp is actually motion weighted blend. The warping is inverse. Smart blend is unchecked. MB Compense is 0, this is cut A, start frame is 0, and the last frame is 30,000. And that is it. Now what you can do is come up here at the end, and call it best uh, Twixter settings or something. So then just click save. Now what this does, you won't have to remember these settings again, so you can literally run the default one right here. All you need to do is click down the arrow, best Twixter settings, and this comes up right here. Now click X, you're literally done. Okay, so right now we haven't actually done anything. We've applied the settings, but we haven't changed the speed. So if we come back to the effects right here, this is where the speed happens. So I suggest 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is very, very slow. But of course you can mess with it. So the maximum is 100,000, like that, which is normal speed. Now just lower it down. So yeah, you can pick any speed you want. I'm going to pick 20 for this. Just click X. And now... When you try and pre-render, well, when you try and play it, it is going to be literally really bad. Now that's because Twixter is, yeah, Twixter just uses up quite a lot of RAM. So what you need to do is pre-render it. So just highlight this by double clicking there, then drag these out, then press Shift and B. Now what this does, it's going to render it, so it's going to use the RAM to play it. It's going to take a while, so I'm not going to do it for this video. And then once you're done, it is done. So after that pre-render is done, you're literally done and you're good to go. So then just go ahead, double click up here, rend file, render as, come to main concept which is mp4. So I suggest you do actually do it in 1080p. So I want to do internet 1080p, I'm going to call it slow mo and then just start rendering it. And you can see it's going to render but as soon as it hits this part right here, the rendering time will start to take longer. And now if we go ahead and take a look at what we created, this is it. You can see that nice little slow motion there. I didn't put it on long enough. Maybe I should have put it at 0.2 so you would have seen the real effects. But anyway, that is how you do it. It's that simple. 
Now obviously when you're going to be using Twixter, rendering time is going to be longer. That right there is like, I don't know, that's a two second clip. It took about 20 seconds to render, so depending on your RAM speed, obviously, that is how long it's going to take to render. But anyway, that is it for this video. Hopefully you've been able to follow it and hopefully it has helped you. And like I said, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop or even After Effects, be sure to leave in the comments below or follow me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to follow me on Twitter or I'll keep you updated when I'm going to be posting and what I'm going to be posting. Also be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel where I'll post 3-4 times a week. And finally be sure to have my Snapchat where I'll just show you what I do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate and peace.